We have a table with Baseball World Series teams from 1903 to 2019. And we want to select a range of years, 1970 to 1977, and have the team names and who won off to the side. Since we want to do it with a formula, do we use the filter function, xlookup? or the offset function. Well, just for fun, let's try all three. We'll start with the filter function. In the array argument, we need the entire table. I'm going to click in the top left cell, Control Shift right arrow, Control Shift down arrow. I use Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. Now I type a comma. And for include, I need to create an array of trues and falses that's the same height as this table. Now I have two conditions I need to ask of the year. Are you greater than or equal to 1970? And are you less than or equal to 1977? In parentheses, I highlight the year column, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace. I say, are you greater than or equal to the lower limit? close parentheses, because both conditions have to be simultaneously true, which means we're doing an AND logical test. We use multiplication, open parentheses. I'm going to cheat, Control-C, Control-V. Now we compare this to the upper limit. Are you less than or equal to the final year? We close off for include. If I highlight that and hit the F9 key, there's the array of zeros and ones. Zero is false, one is true. Control Z, now I close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, the results are spilled. Now this is a spill dynamic array formula. All the cells that are not the top cell are grayed out. The formula only lives in the top cell. 1979 and the formula updates. Now, we'll come back and look at that later, but let's see how to do this with XLOOKUP. For a lookup value, I'm going to look up 1970, comma, lookup array. We need the year column, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace, comma. And I want to return a cell from this column, so I'll repeat that column. Right now, this would be silly because it would just look up 1970. But when I close this off, and the remaining arguments, I don't need any of them. The default is exact match lookup, which is what we want. Now I'm going to use the colon operator. And as soon as I use colon, that tells xlookup not to look up the value, but to look up the cell reference. Now we do xlookup on the other side of the colon operator, looking up that year, lookup value, control V. And now I want to return the final column, control shift down arrow, control backspace. And so all this is going to do is look up the cell reference for 1970 in this column and whatever the cell reference for this final games column for 1979. When I hit Enter, the results spill. And I can change it. And it updates. Now let's see offset equals offset. Now the reference argument is the starting point for the dynamic range we're going to create, comma. Number of rows, that means from that starting position, how many rows do we want to add or subtract to have a new starting position? So for rows, we'll use x match. We're going to look up 1970, comma. And for the lookup array, I'm going to control V. That's the year column. Match will look up 1970 and say what position it is in the list, which is exactly how many cells we need to jump down to have a new starting position. Now, the default for X match is exact match lookup, so we close parentheses, comma. For the columns argument, that's from that starting position, how many columns do we want to add or subtract? We don't want to add or subtract any, so comma. The height, well, we're going to do 1977 minus 1970. And because we need to include 1970, we add 1, comma. And for width, we need 4. Well, guess what? We actually could put a 4 there or have columns function, read how many columns there are. But let's change the reference. If I give it one row and four columns for height and width, it assumes as defaults whatever it is in the reference argument. So that way, we can leave width out, because it will assume four. That's our formula, close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, it's working just like the other formulas. 
If I type 1980, everything updates. Control Z. Now let's compare. I guess for me, I would choose XLOOKUP, XLOOKUP. This one has a bunch of array calculations, which can be expensive. Offset is a volatile function, but what happens if we sort? We come over and we want to see all the teams in alphabetical order. So we'll do A to Z. And oh no, XLOOKUP and Offset, those methods are depending on the sort for the year column. But Filter has no problem. Control Z. So if I had a lookup table like this where everything was going to be sorted, I'd probably use XLOOKUP. Otherwise, I'm using Filter. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out more about Filter or Offset, check out these videos. Mm -hmm.